He's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. A give to Barkley out of the gun, and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier, was bidding for a second. Jones, going to throw on third and goal. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Giants are a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. At their own 26-yard line. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tumult. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. At the 28-yard line. Sanders toss left side. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let him outside where they can really shred your defense. Hurt sets up to throw it. On the move to his left. He may try and run for this. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. On first and 10, it's Hurts. The throw taken in by Sims. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five. They'll run with Sanders, and he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here, third and a yard. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. The Eagles on third down. They've been excellent, six for seven. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. The 20, and he's got his man in stride, complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 
We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And the Eagles are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. I think we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was cooked. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles have moved out in front. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was, oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A big play there. 76 yards. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Taking it at about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Left side here to Sanders. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. 17 yards. First down, Eagles. Play action. Here's Hertz. He's got a man that's caught. Left sideline. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The first 
Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. One play has them to the 37 here for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones gets this out to Saquon Barkley. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Jones. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Now Jones, gonna throw again. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Operating from the gun, Jones. Buying time to his left. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. To the sideline and incomplete. Results in a fourth down. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. A final shot before break. Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, this is the second of four games this weekend as we narrow the field down to the four teams who will meet in the league championship games next Sunday. We'll get back out to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look ahead to tomorrow's other Divisional Round game in the NFC. And it looks like we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Carolina Panthers squaring off against the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, in our game, we're set up for a terrific second half. So to find out who will advance to the NFC title game, let's send it back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. 